Today we're going to go over using Libby on a mobile device. I am using an iPad tablet for this example. You can use other devices. A Kindle, however, is going to require a different set of instructions. So if you're using a Kindle and would like assistance, please stop in the library with the, your device. Or you can also reach out to us by email at askus at rogerslibrary.org or by phone at 603-886-6030. Now you will need your library card number and your PIN in order to set up Libby. If you don't know your PIN, try the last four digits of your phone number when you're prompted to put it in. Pause the video now if you would like to get your card. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the App Store to download Libby. If you have a Google Android device, you will go to the Play Store. And I'm going to do a search for Libby. It is the result in the top right, Libby by Overdrive. I'm going to download it. Depending on your device, you may be prompted to sign into your store's account. And I'm going to open it. We're going to do a one-time manual setup. First question, do you have a library card? Yes. Since this is our first time using Libby, we are not gonna copy from another device. We're gonna select search for a library or guess my library. I prefer search for a library. And we will put in the zip code 03051. The top matching library is the New Hampshire State Library, and right underneath where it says that, you can see where it says Rogers Memorial Library. That is because our electronic library is actually part of the state's collection. So we're going to go ahead and choose that first result. And then we're going to be prompted to sign in with my card. From here, we're going to choose Hudson from a list of towns. We only see the first three towns alphabetically, so we're going to press 203 more. And then we're going to scroll on down until we see Hudson. From here, we're going to go ahead and put in our card number and our PIN. Once again, if you don't remember your PIN, try the last four of your phone number and go ahead and pause the video now if you'd like. Afterwards, you're given an option to rename your card. I'm going to go ahead and press Next. And then you're given a preference option about Kindles. For the purposes of this tutorial, go ahead and press Skip. You will see five icons on the very bottom of the screen. From left to right, these are a magnifying glass, which is used for searching, a building. This will take you to the home page where we are now. The three lines to the right of it are for your account settings. To the right of that, two books, one on top of the other. This is your shelf where you see the items you checked out. The clock on the bottom right is your timeline, which shows your activities. Here on the home page, you will see some words at the top. These are in little gray boxes, newest, popular, random, available now, and subjects. These are tags you can press to browse those topics. If we scroll down, we see more areas to explore. Let's take a moment to click on extras. And on this page, you can see me more resources and content giving you more value for your library card. The extras are not available at all libraries, but they are available for Hudson card holders. Let's go back to the home page for a moment and pretend we just want to browse. One way is to hit the subjects tag in the upper right. Here you can see different topics to explore depending on what you're in the mood for. 
Above the list in the upper left, it says Preferences. Selecting that will bring up a menu where I can set my preferences. For example, I can search for only audiobooks and items that are available right now. If I do know what I'm looking for, I can press the magnifying glass in the bottom left to do a search. Let's do a search for David Baldacci. As I type, Libby tries to guess what it is I'm typing. And if I see the right suggestion, I press on it. Here, the first suggestion is what I am looking for. Here are the results. Now these are set to the preferences that I set earlier. So if I click on preferences, I will see that my choices have been saved. If I want to change the parameters of the search, I can choose refine, which is in the upper right on the opposite side of the screen. And from here, I can change the availability to everything so I can see what is owned in general. And my search results have changed. I will pick the first one, Long Road to Mercy, and click Borrow next to the cover. If it was checked out, it would say place hold, which I could do if I wanted to go on the holds list and get notified later. On this screen, right next to the barcode, you can see where it says loans zero of three and holds zero of five. I can borrow up to three books at a time and have five holds. Right now, I don't have any of either. I am borrowing for 14 days. And I'm going to click borrow. I can open the book now. I can keep browsing or I can go to my shelf. I'm going to go to shelf. Now I can also get here by pressing the icon of two books that are on the bottom next to the icon of three lines. And join Libby, this will come up occasionally. I'm just going to click not now. Now, as I said earlier, you are allowed to check out three books at a time. The books are automatically deleted when their time is up, but you can return one early by selecting manage loan. I can renew the loan if I'm getting close to my expiration date. And I can also click return early, which is what I'm going to do.